After a cross-country season in the fall that saw the women's and men's teams each finish in the top five at the Nationals in Seattle, Grand Valley's distance runners have rejoined their track and field squads for the meet of their 2023 calendar year events. Some Lakers qualified for the national indoor finals with their showings at the Holiday Open at the Kelly Center last month, while others will be looking to do the same at three home events in January following semester and holiday breaks. Some athletes do an incredible job of staying fit, staying uh, in the training uh, regiment and whatnot and come back ready to go. Some of them maybe not so much, but that also gives them a little reprieve and gives their body rest and they may come back a little fresh. So sometimes those athletes are able to come back, jump right in, see a really, really good result and then would get training hard from there. Yeah, so obviously it's important to stay active during break. It's a, you want to, you know, relax, but I mean, we're coming into the most important part of the season. We, when we get back, we jump straight into meets. We got meet every month. So you want to stay active, keep the body good, or else you're going to come back, you're going to be stuck in a position you don't want to be. One of the earliest national qualifiers for this year's indoor squad, Eli Kosiba, went over the bar at 7-2 in December to ensure his spot, which means he can now focus on personal improvement and helping his teammates during the next two months. Another athlete in that position is cross-country All-America standout Claudia O'Malley, who's thinking about the indoor nationals while easing into her track season. I'm also training with some girls that um, are going to compete earlier than I am, so I guess I'm training with them too and workouts and stuff to help them get to the, the shape they're supposed to be in and stuff like that. So I guess in like racing-wise, we can help pace, and then in um, training, we can just help run with them and just have a buddy to run with. During the holidays after the semester break, O'Malley returned home to northern Michigan to train with her teammate and sister Maggie, while other Lakers went a step further. Throw standout Emma Richards got back to Wisconsin for help from the man who got her into her specialty, her father. I had a place to throw, and my dad has been a throws coach for over 20 years, so he coached me. He's the one who got me into throwing and everything. So having him there it was helpful to continue my training over break and get me set up to come back here and continue that into the meet. Better. A past All-America honoree in both the discus and shot put, Richards figures to improve quickly upon her December showing at the Holiday Open. And if the past is any indication, a lot of her teammates will follow suit during the next few weeks as the men and women look to replicate or even improve upon their first and second place indoor national championship finishes of a year ago. Go! For the Grand Valley State Sports Report, I'm Tom Cleary.